What up, man? It's your big brother, K Reno. Real quick, for those of you who didn't know I had a new album out, make sure you go and get it. Now you know, no excuses. For those who knew, haven't got it yet, make sure you go get my new album. It's called A Blessing and a Burden. Go to SouthparkCoalition.net or any of the digital platforms you can get it right now. Look, man, this is what we're talking about today. We're talking about the mistake that we make of um, justifying our wrong actions. Justifying or making excuses, just not wanting to acknowledge something that we did was actually wrong, so we go around it any kind of way we can to make it seem right or to give a reason that justifies why we did it. Now, here's the deal. There's a lot of things that we do. None of us are perfect. You know, if you're walking around here thinking like you are uh, holy or thinking that you are uh, the most righteous being that ever walked the planet or that's currently walking the planet, then you are 1,000% delusional. But sometimes there are things that we do, and if somebody calls us out on it, if somebody says, well, man, you, you was wrong for that, or man, you did this, or you do this, or you did that, then... And, and it may not be in a in a the the traditional judgmental way like people always say, oh man, you, you who you a judge me? No, nah, I'm not talking about somebody else being self righteous and trying to make themselves look like they never do wrong and they point out you're wrong. I'm talking about when somebody just legitimately goes, hey man, you know you was wrong for that, man. Nah, you shouldn't have did that. Or, or they may mention something that you're doing that out of um, love or whatever they might like hey man you shouldn't do that and the first thing that comes out of our mouth is some excuse well now nah, man see i just do this because no nah, hey there really ain't nothing wrong with that you know i just do this I they start making excuses or trying to justify to make a scene right look it's nothing wrong with just acknowledging the fact that well, yeah man yeah you know i did that or i do that it's something that I need to work on and get better, but I do it, or I did it. We make ourselves look foolish when we try to make wrong be right. Just plain and simple. We try to make wrong be right. And I know it's a root cause and a, and a root reason for everything that happens in our own life, everything that we do. So if a person is on drugs real bad, you know, something down the line got them turned on to that. Somebody might have tricked them to get turned out on drugs. Or somebody may be in an abusive relationship and they making excuses why they're going to stay with this person or something along those lines. It could, it could be anything. You might be, you might be a thief. You might go in stores every day, you know, hustling and stealing. You know, doing doing things of that nature. You might sell drugs. A lot of times people do it like when they sell drugs. It's like, man, you know, I got a family, man. And, you know, somebody going to sell it to them. You know, that's one of the main ones. You know, it's better to just acknowledge that, hey, man, yeah, you're right. What I'm doing is not right. You know, and I know I got to get it together. But don't try to make wrong be right. And I'm speaking to us. I'm not speaking to y'all like I'm around here righteous and holy either. You know, we all have made that mistake and we all make it on a daily basis. So, take that responsibility, man. Own it, but not own, don't own it in terms of saying, yeah, it's cool for me to do it. Own it in terms of, of acknowledging the, um, the wrong of it. And I think that will be one of the steps that will put us on the path of, of improving our behavior. Because once you start trying to justify the wrong that you do all the time, it becomes habitual. It starts to become a part of your character because it, it turns into an easy way out of um, being held accountable. You know, the accountability is, is, is you start to remove self-accountability. And in my opinion, self-accountability is the most important form of accountability because it starts with you. And it starts with you.
to keep yourself in check to not graduate and go to different levels on things because once you start to graduate in terms of uh, not holding yourself accountable and continuing continuing to stack up those um, jacked up behavior patterns then eventually you reach a point where the world will hold you accountable people outside of yourself will hold you accountable law enforcement will hold you accountable the judicial system will hold you accountable or it'll come full circle and if you're doing something that's detrimental to yourself physically your body will hold you accountable because it'll start to break down and things of that nature and, you know people eating bad foods and hey man you, sh man, you, you know that, that stuff ain't good for you bro I'm, I'm concerned about you you might want to stop eating pork you might want to stop doing this you might want to stop smoking this and drinking that no man no man my, my doctor said I could just do a little bit. Come on, man. So that's what I wanted to hit y'all with today, man. Let, let's be more stand up and just deal with what we got to deal with, except the things that we do, because the things that we do are not necessarily who we are. Let's focus on getting to where we need to be. All right, man. It's your big brother, K. Reno. Hey. Go get it. Go get it right now. Peace.